you home soon. All right. I love you too. Okay, bye. Sorry, dude, that was my mom. Harley. Harley. Harley! Oh yeah, sorry, I just looked in my iPod. It's so awesome, I have like 20 albums on this thing. Dude, that's nothing. I've got the iPod Touch. I have like three seasons of Mythbusters on this thing. Plus app, I think I'm play Tetris. Is that the new one with the camera? No, it's the third generation. But the new one is so cool. I heard Aiden has it. Well, let's go find him. All right. You can't find him anywhere. Here, hold on, I'll fix it. Hurry up, if they turn on the heater in here. Okay, it's set. You should be here any, any second. Wait, dude, is that the iPhone? Yeah, what? Dude, that's the most technologically advanced phone ever. I mean, it doesn't even have any buttons. Just the touch screen and the bot button at the bottom to exit out of the app. I guess I kind of overlooked it. No, I think that it's really advanced. Hey guys, what's up? Aiden! Hey, do you have a ride touch with you? Yeah, why? Can we see it for a second? Sure. Wow, this is so cool. When did they start making cameras this small? I'm not sure. I think the Apple just came out with them. It has high resolution and HD. Well, it's getting really cold in here. Let's go to a warmer classroom. What's up, Aiden? Nothing, I'm just typing the report for science class. Is that one the cold leaves? Yeah, it is. Dude, are those the new computers Miss Parker got? Yeah, dude, these computers have such a large screen, too. They'll have cool programs like GIMP, Paint, and Movie Maker. Hey, guys, haven't you noticed that we all have this new technology? I know. All the technology has changed so much. Just think about when back in the day, people had large cell phones that couldn't even stay in pockets. Now they have such big phones that are stay in pockets. Also, the iPods have improved from having buttons to touch screens. Don't forget computers used to be huge and couldn't even fit in a warehouse. And now, they can only be used for typing things or doing math. Now they're light, small, and compact, and they have they can be used for anything. This technology is improving way too fast for us. You know what that means. We, we have, have to get used to it. it. Guys, I have a question. What? what? How can we expect to learn all this new technology? Well, I think there are lots of books that explain how to use it. Maybe that helps. There's also many organizations that can help with questions like that, too. There are also places that you can call for information and questions. You can also go to the website or the computer shop. As always, there's an internet, you know. Well, that definitely helps a lot. I guess we better get ready. We need to learn how to live in a beautiful world. The world won't wait for us. I, I guess, guess you're right. right.